look. I look. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, no, it's been a long time. I apologize. I have a lot going on. Not really. I'm just very anti-social. And I'm a homebody and I like to stay home and do nothing. Just kidding. Watching my baby. Um, but what's new? I don't even know where to start, guys. Like, it's been over a month. <sighs> it's been a long month. But a lot of good things are happening, so yeah. Um, I had to put on makeup because I looked really, really horrible. Um, with those pimples on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and briefly talk about each product from the Kylie skincare and you know just review them so if you want to keep on watching then keep on watching and if you don't and if you don't like me then there's the exit button in the beginning of my video I have a video of me on my iPhone when we we're grocery shopping of my pimples where I'm breaking out um, it's not a real bad breakout but for me it's bad because i never break out ever and like i said i never use skincare so i never break out especially when i'm on my um period yeah um i never break out i will probably get one pimple so i started off let me just go closer let's see okay so I started off with just this pimple and then all of these pimples came, all of them. And over here, like blotchiness. And I never ever have that. And like, I'm getting a new pimple right here. It's just like, like what the <laughs> My skin doesn't like it at all. So I was gonna keep all of the items inside each box but um it was really hard going back and forth um with taking out the products and putting it back in the box and then taking it out every single day so um i just took all the products out so when i got the um products it came in this box um and it looked like that I'm not gonna lie, uh, the packaging is really, really nice. I like it. I love pink, so um, you can't really see the lighting. Let me dim down the light. So it's like that ombre effect of pink and white. Um, I think it's super cute, and I like it, the packaging. I also got this note, like everybody else. Hope you guys love your Kylie Skin products. This is just the beginning. So when I seen that, I was like, okay, so are you gonna come out with a sensitive skin? Because my skin is sensitive, like sensitive. So that being said, because my skin is super sensitive, um, I had Zach try out the skincare products to see if he had the same feeling that I did and um, we weren't the same because his skin is way different than mine. I'm way on the sensitive side, way on the sensitive side, but I'm on the sensitive side like a lot. Um, so I just wanted to like see like if it burns everybody's skin or if I'm just the one because I have sensitive skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the foaming face wash. I like it. When I put it on, it's very, very creamy. You only have to put like half a pump. Although Kylie says that it feels like a moisturizer after that, but honestly, I tested it, tested it out um, 
and I didn't put any of the other products on like I didn't put the moisturizer on and wanted to see if it would dry out my face or I would get that dry feeling and I got the dry feeling so yeah that was weird um all of her face um her face line is like supposed to be fragrance free besides the vanilla milk toner I don't know guys. I really wanted to like it I really wanted to like these products especially because I spent so much money on these products so I'm literally gonna do nothing with them next up the vanilla Yes? What? Are you yeah. Oh. <laughs> I really wanted to buy this because who wouldn't want to buy a vanilla milk toner? Like the name sells itself. But I'm not really sure how I feel about it. There's definitely a tingling sensation. And like I said before, I've never like really used a skincare product in my entire life besides Tatcha brand and so like I don't know what to expect so I watched a lot of other reviews and they were pretty like blown away on how this um this toner is like a milky look and some toners are like clear and the smell kind of smells like cocoa butter I don't know it doesn't smell like vanilla though I wouldn't say that I don't like this but I don't know what to expect from it because I haven't used a lot of skin toners you know what I mean I will say that this vanilla milk toner um, does sting my face and right like when I used it the first day I was like okay maybe this is how it's supposed to feel and I just need to get used to it yeah no it stung like there was days where it stung and then there was days when it didn't sting I, I just don't know like <laughs> I don't know yeah I really don't know about this brand I know for a fact that I will never invest my money into Kylie cosmetics and Kylie um skincare unless I hear better reviews but I mean I literally lost a lot of money on how shitty these products were and that's just me telling you but I mean everybody has different opinions on how they feel about a product because everybody has different skin types so this may work for you this may not work for you like how it doesn't work for me so that was the vanilla milk toner thirdly how you say it but the big controversy was the walnut face scrub I like this she says to use it like three times a week and there was like a bunch of controversy about it because of the St. Ives and um to be honest so I'm actually gonna mute myself on the video for a second and just talk more about the walnut scrub so the walnut scrub has a little um, graduals in it and if you read the back of the description it's also made with walnut powder so there's a difference between the St. Ives where it has um, what is it called apricot shells so it's less harsh on your face I think that it is an awesome exfo exfoliator um, my skin feels soft after using them but um, yeah, I would definitely recommend the walnut scrub. I like it. I think this is the only thing that I like from this besides the moisturizer because that does not burn my skin. Next we have the face moisturizer. You can use this in the morning. Uh, she says that she even uses it um, underneath as a base before she puts her makeup on. It's like a thick consistency but it's not too thick like it's hard to explain until you get it you can definitely feel that it's moisturizing your skin and this doesn't burn like don't burn at all 
so like after I used that face wash and I didn't use any of the other products because I wanted to feel like how the face wash would feel on my face if it felt like it was drying it out and I left it on for an hour and my face felt like so I automatically had to go and put this moisturizer on it and um, it helped so I like the moisturizer <laughs> last but not least is the vitamin C serum I really thought I was gonna like this one but I don't this is actually the one product after I use my toner it burns the f out of my skin like seriously it really does and that's why I gave this skincare product line um, some time like throughout that week just to see how it would do with my skin and my skin hates it and I hate it because my skin hates it and it just I've never seen my face this bad before and just dried out before so I had to automatically stop using it I probably won't stop using the walnut scrub and the moisturizer just because I don't have any problem with it um but I'm but I'm most definitely not gonna use the vitamin C serum because I've had vitamin C serum from Tatcha before and I love it and it does not leave a stinging sensation to my face like I don't know how to explain this stinging situ situation sensation just because like I don't know it feels like it's burning my skin and I feel like good skincare products aren't supposed to feel that way lastly is the eye cream I was stoked about this one too because um, it says this unique formula contains a blend of caffeine green tea vitamin E and pomegranate extracts that help brighten hydrate and reduce puffiness and the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles so you can apply this in um, the morning time and at night time underneath your eyes or wherever you get wrinkles and um, it has like this applicator <laughs> I don't know why I can't talk today but this applicator and it also has like a yellowy um, can you see it a yellowy look to it and um, focus Mary and um, this also burns underneath my eyes but I don't think it burns as much as the vitamin C serum but it burns it still burns and it's not comfortable like at all <sighs> so I don't know if I explained any of that like how you guys want me to explain it I just don't really care for her skincare line and maybe it's because like this is her first formula she's ever tried but she said that it took her a year just for her to get these formulas right and I don't know I'm pretty bummed that it's pretty shitty in my opinion like I've it's just it's just a hit or miss with her company and like I really 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 wanted to trust it because of how famous she is and you know I don't know these are like celebrities that have enough money to pay for facials and plastic surgery and all that kind of shit and facial facial people will come to their house or estheticians will come to your guys to the celebrities house and do whatever so i mean you'll never really know um their skincare if that makes any sense so goodbye kylie i gotta put you guys back in the box ruining Michaela's face I literally like I can't stress enough guys that my face has never looked this bad and broken out ever in my whole entire life 
like it's so bad it literally stripped and dried my face besides putting the moisturizer on i don't know guys if you guys want to buy kylie cosmetic or kylie skin then go ahead but i'm just warning you if you have sensitive skin like how i do i wouldn't recommend it at all whatsoever do not waste your money um i'm gonna be talking about another brand that i love in particularly and they are expensive sorry guys my like someone hair is like kind of like poofing out already but yeah, I'm sorry Kylie, I do not like your stuff. I hope things get better and you formulate or create things for people with sensitive skin and it doesn't burn the shit out of their skin. So yeah. So I will also list everything that it has inside it um, down below just because it's so much to talk about and um yeah i really don't want to talk about it on a brand that uh doesn't benefit my skin so um if you want to know more about the product then go ahead and look down below